Yes, you're watching the Music with Meaning show, full of love and music. is the reading that's going to make our songs extra special on the program today. A program in which you're going to be meeting Peter and Rachel, a very talented singing duo, who are going to be sharing with us some of the inside secrets of their true love story. And also we'll be enjoying some new numbers from Michael Fogarty and Paul Michael. And also what about a song from you on the show today, Phoebe? You're always promising us that you're going to sing. Oh well, okay, I'd like to. Especially if it's a love song. Because that's what the world needs now, a lot of love, sweet love. I really love the setting today. We're actually sitting outside of our Music With Meaning studios in the country, and the sun is shining down. And that's the title of the first song from Peter and Rachel. I felt the sun shining down on me. I felt the sun shining down on me not resist the love I felt so tenderly And through the years that have now gone by I thank the Lord above I have no sleepless nights Whoa, 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 whoa. again slipping into darkness with each passing day till i cried out for love and i found the way then i felt the sun shining down on me could not resist the love i felt so tenderly and through the years that have now gone by i thank the lord above i have no sleepless night whoa, whoa, whoa. Sun again, slipping into darkness with each passing day till I cried out for love and I found the way and then I felt the sun shining down on me, could not resist the love, I felt so tenderly and through the years that have not gone by, I thank the Lord above, I have no sleepless night, whoa, whoa, whoa. And that's Peter and Rachel singing, I felt the sun shining down on me. And you can look forward to seeing more of them later on in the program. Mm. I love these outside settings, Phoebe. They're just gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, talking about love, it is so much love that you can see uh, in nature. I mean, look, from the mighty grandeur of the mountain down mm. to the smallest, most intricate uh, design of the little tiny flower. It's just gorgeous out here. Yes, uh, love certainly does have tremendous creative power. Not only the power to create, but also the power to change. And don't just take my word for it, but listen to this number from Michael Fogarty, in which he tells us there's been a change in me.
thousands of people in countries all around the world who receive our Music with Meaning Club magazine. And we'd love to have you as a member of our club, too. And membership is free, so please do feel free to write in and join the club. I'm really looking forward to receiving your letter. I love you. writing down the address then please do go and get your pen because I'll be giving you the address later on in the show. I wouldn't go too far away if I were you because otherwise you're going to miss something very special and of course you know what that is Phoebe don't you? No. Your song, I... the song you promised us. Is that special? Oh it's special to me, it's special to our viewers, especially to those who haven't heard you sing on the show before. Mm. Which song have you chosen? Uh, it's a song that is very special to me, and it's called Lover of My Soul. Mm. It's interesting, actually, because Paul Michael wrote this song uh, for a very famous Hungarian singer, and it was translated and recorded in Hungarian. So now on the show today, we're going to hear Phoebe sing it in English, and it's called Lover of My Soul. Phoebe to sing for us more often on the show. Uh, that was a real treat to hear her singing Lover of My Soul. Well, you're watching the Music with Meaning show. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we're enjoying being here with you. The theme of our program today is love, which is not unusual really, because love is what Music with Meaning means. Music with Meaning means love. Hmm. I see Paul all set up over there, ready for the next song. 
Paul, maybe we could ask you what love means to you. When she said she could not forgive, she was saying that she loved herself more than him. That she valued his total faithfulness more than his love for her, even more than love itself. Then love itself. Love is saying you're sorry. Love means forgiving every day. Love is saying you're sorry. That's not true love anyway If you don't have mercy and can't forgive You don't have real love Because real love is forgiveness And remember that our trespasses Shall be forgiven as we forgive those against us music with meaning today let's meet Peter and Rachel and I think you probably both would agree that love at first sight is maybe quite possible it's definitely possible I can watch for that I just took one look into the windows of her soul as they say the eyes are the windows of the soul and there was love oh that's beautiful I must say that you both speak English so well that I doubt very much whether our viewers could probably guess exactly what country you're from uh, <laughs> I still don't think our viewers can guess which country you're from. Well, I must admit that a lot of people have told me that our native tongue sounds more like a throat disease than a language, but so few people seem to catch it that I'm sure it's non-contagious. But we're from Denmark. Uh, you know, I actually think of you more as being from Poland than Denmark, mm -hmm. because you spent a few years there, and I think it's very interesting that actually you were there as part of one of the country's top singing groups. Yes, we did spend three years there, three very beautiful years, and we played in nightclubs, we did concerts and a few TV shows, and we were the first Western group to ever record in a Polish studio. That was very interesting, and I believe you also learned the Polish language. Oczywiście, i u nas to było miłość od pierwszego wejrzenia. What does that mean? That means, of course. And with us it was love at first sight. 
Well, you must have had quite a love affair with, actually, with the Polish people in order to have taken the time to learn what must be a very difficult language. Yes, we had a very beautiful time there, and we did and still do love the Polish people very much, and they have a very special place in our hearts. Okay, well, let's talk now about your own special love affair, because I know that a lot of people, when they see you singing so happily and so lovingly together, you must greatly inspire uh, their faith in having a loving relationship with someone and inspire their faith in love. I, I know a lot of young people today are probably a little bit scared of entering into a serious relationship or a permanent relationship with someone until maybe they're much older, thinking maybe they're going to miss the best years of their life or something like that. But would you say this is necessarily the correct attitude? No, I don't think so, because when we first got together, I was just 17, and we spent the best years of our lives together, hmm. and it's getting better every day. But I do know, though, that a lot of people look at marriage as a little private relationship, and that it excludes everybody else, and that it's the end of free life. But we found that with love, it draws a circle, and it doesn't have to exclude other people and shut other people out, but instead it can draw other people in, and you can get closer. Mm -hmm. It's just like with the sun and the moon. The moon reflects the light from the sun, and then it shines on us people here on the earth. And Rachel and I, we, re we reflect each other's love, and if we reflect real strong, then it'll reflect on other people too. So you're saying, in fact, that the great love that you have for each other has helped you to share and give more love with other people also. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's definitely true. And we learn that by sharing and giving more to other people that our own relationship is staying much more fresh and alive and new. And that's in fact the theme of our next song. Mm -hmm. And it's called Love That Knows No Boundaries is Love That You Can Share. Well, let's stop and hear that song right now as performed by Peter and Rachel. Love That Knows No Boundaries. <laughs> Yeah, and that beautiful song was written by Peter and performed by Peter and Rachel. Rachel, you sing like an angel. Oh, Simon, would you like to would find out, or would you like to know how I found out that Rachel, she must be an angel? Mm -hmm. It's because she's always 
harping on something, always up in the air about something, and she never has an earthly thing to wear. <laughs> but I must say that she's very good to me, because every day she brings me three burnt offerings. Burnt offerings? Yes. It? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and to add, uh, the other day when I came home, Rachel was sitting there crying a little, and I asked her, Well, honey, why are you crying? And she said, Well, I fixed you a beautiful cake, but I burned it, so I had to feed it to the dog. And I said, It's okay, honey, I'll buy you a new dog. <laughs> Rachel, I can see that you don't mind uh, Peter's jokes. No, because I know that one of the greatest assets for good marriage is a good sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And to be able to laugh at the funny things, and along with real honesty, of course. Hmm. It, it breaks my heart, you know, to hear of so many marriages these days breaking up and people just not staying together uh, for very long. And it's especially a shame, I think, for the children. And you told me a, a serious story earlier, Peter, that uh, I found really helped me, I think, with mm -hmm. uh, my relationship with uh, my wife. And maybe you could tell it for our viewers now. Yes. That was the story about, the true story about the woman who went to the judge because she wanted a divorce, to divorce her husband, and the judge asked her, well, how come you married the man to begin with? And she said, well, he was a good man, a faithful provider, and good to the children, and loyal, and she started mentioning all these favorable qualities about him. Mm -hmm. And then he asked her, well, why do you want a divorce then? And she said, he's terrible, he throws his clothes on the floor, he never puts anything away, he's hard to get up in the morning, always late for dinner, and he fusses when I burn the toast. Oops, that was just like you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, she had forgotten all these good things, and yet it was these little nagging details that she had gotten her eyes on, so the judge suggested, why don't you go home for 30 days and forget all the bad things and look at the good things and concentrate on those, the things that you originally married him for. And after 30 days, come back if you still want a divorce. So but after, after 30 days, she didn't come back. Oh, that's silly. Interesting. You story. know what, Simon? We actually have a song about that. Mm -hmm. And it's called Blunders of the Mind, but the heart's okay. And it's like all these nagging little details are just like blunders of the mind. But in our hearts, we want to do our very best. But as no one's perfect, no matter how hard we try, we're still going to be making mistakes. So I think the best we can do is just try our best and look at the good things and the positive things and that's what this song is all about hmm. and uh, this is one of my favorite songs i think we've saved the best to last on the show today because this is peter and rachel with a song written by peter called blunders of the mind
Thank you so much for being our guests on the program today, and especially for that last beautiful number, Blunders of the Mind, But the Heart's Okay. Do so hope that our songs of love have managed to strike a responsive chord in your heart today, and that we've managed to beam a little love and happiness your way. Thanks also to Michael Fogarty, to Paul Michael for their songs, and also, of course, to you, Phoebe. Oh, it's been such a pleasure, Simon. Such a shame that our time is up, but anyway, let me give you once again the address to our club. It's CPO 220, Athens in Greece. I'm eagerly awaiting your letter so that I can send you back your photo song. To you from all of us here and all of your Music with Meaning family all around the world. See you again soon for some more Music with Meaning in which we're changing the world with love. Love one another. We love, love you. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.